I am getting back into taking commissions. Two disclaimers, no, I will not do a commission for you because I only do local commissions. Okay, I've come up with a new way to procrastinate responsibilities, ignore reality. So I have this book, Knitting with a Modern Maker. Um, I, I want to knit a few things from it. So far I have knit some socks. Typically knitting is my hobby, it's what I do to like unwind in the evenings. So I don't share a lot of it with you guys, especially like the process, right? But, but, I had a friend a couple years ago when the book first come, came out make this felted flat cap and I have been coveting one ever since. So I figured why not just make one? So I have some wool yarn. It's really cute cream color but then it also has like fleckies in it. Hairy fleckies. I don't know what to call it but this is this is what I got. And what I'm really interested in is the felted process. I have never felted anything before, so I don't know how the felting process works, but like we'll we'll figure that out. It's gonna be great. Um, but let's let's get back to knitting. So I am about halfway through knitting. So I am just going to continue on uh, just following the pattern and Hopefully, within the next couple of hours, I will have all the knitting finished. So, I feel like an idiot. Um, I just looked at the fiber content of this and it is 10% wool and I thought it had over 50% wool so there's that. The upside to this is I think I can throw it in the washing machine and completely abuse it and it'll felt up to what I want. Um, cause I don't, I don't need it to turn into a block, I just want it to stiffen enough to like have some shape to it. Okay, so I am on row 96 of 119. I'm still in my first skein of yarn. I'm not optimistic that I'll be able to do this in one skein, but I guess we'll see. I'm confused. The pattern said that it would take 400 yards and the skein that I have is 195. So I don't know what's going on. Um, this is the hat so far. Um, I did mold it into like the cap and the brim um, so this is going to be the outer edge of the brim, and then I need to do the inner edge, um, and then figure out how they're connected. Um, I think it has something to do with this row of pearl stitching. I'll read the instructions when I get there. I mean, this is, this is exactly what I was wanting. So, um, it's super cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I need to do the remaining 25 rows, but I think I need to get some lunch first. And I was gonna get some housework done after lunch, and I think I'm gonna need a nap today. <sighs> like my energy levels have like tanked again, so I'm back to like needing afternoon naps. Anyway, rambling, but I will give you guys another update when I have one. So according to the pattern, I have about 10 rows left. I have about this much yarn left on my ball, skein, whatever you wanna call it, and it it's looking good. I don't know if my ball of yarn is going to run out before I finish these 10 rows. If it does, I do have a second skein, but i um, kind of hoping I can get it all out of one. That would be kind of cool.
my life is a mess and that's just fine because I have a lot of projects that need to get done in the next five weeks and we're just gonna get cracking. Oh my gosh. I am hoping that this week is gonna be the week that I'll just be able to get things done. Level of stress. Not as high as it would have been pre-meds, but still pretty high. <sighs> Talking to you guys is another procrastination thing. So, I'm going to go through my planner and figure out exactly what needs to get done. Well, it took the morning, but I got this tunic base done. Um, I'm going to have to mark where he wants his sleeves because these are a little bit long and ridiculous. I might have made the tunic a little bit too long, but that's whatever. Um, yeah. He is a couple inches bigger than me, but everything should fit really nice. I just wanted to show it off. Okay. I'm probably going to go get some lunch and then move on to other things. Okay, so hi, it's me at like 8 o'clock at night because I can't man manage to stop working ever. <laughs> oh man. Um, we are cutting out a, another commission piece that needs to be done in a week and a half. Anyway, I want to have an eyelet sewing party on Saturday where I literally just sew all the eyelids on all the projects <laughs> all at once. So um, I need to prep for that. the sleeve placket which I am very proud of I mean look how clean this is ah so happy anyway it's gonna go on this yellow dress but I want to get the sleeves done which means putting the buttonholes in and attaching the buttons before I set the sleeves in and then currently I am making all of the buttons this is 10 I need 20 but I have a couple more cut out so I can give her some extras I use the bottom of a cone of thread, an empty cone of thread, to get the button size because I found that this makes like the perfect half inch size buttons. So then you end up with a bunch of circles. I have 18 cut here, I think, plus the 10 that I already made, so it's going to give her 8 extras, which honestly isn't that bad. I am using waxed thread, um, mostly because I want it to be nice and strong, because this is also the thread we're going to use to put the buttons onto the sleeves. Look at all my cute little buttonholes all lined out. So I have 22 buttonholes to sew in, and I don't know how many buttons I actually made, but it's more than 22, so should be plenty to cover, and then I will like throw these in a baggie for when I do delivery, um, so she has spares. Okay, so I don't know how much of the dress 
you can see, but it just needs a hem and eyelets right now. Um, I, the side seams are cut on the bias, so I'm going to need to let this hang so that way I can even out the hem. That's fine. No big deal. A lot of the commission work that I have been doing is coming due at the end of the week. So I have two mock-ups that are due so I can fit them at the event I'm going to on Saturday. Um, and then I have one dress that has a hard deadline for this weekend. I just painted my nails and they're a little bit squishy still. I need to do a quick clean up and then I just, I really need to get working on eyelets um, and evening out hems and all of that. So... Good morning. I started my day by spilling a bowl of beads all over my studio floor, so until I can get it clean enough to vacuum, I'm going to be stepping on seed beads. More to point, I got a lot, a lot of work done yesterday that I did not film because I'm kind of stressed about some commission deadlines and i rather just get stuff done. Um, I have a tunic that I've been making for a friend. I did all the griffins in fabric marker and I don't like how the marker faded so I got some paint and we're gonna go over all the marker with paint. I also have like a fine liner brush. Good morning. Um, I managed to get everything done that I wanted to. Had a lot of fun at the event that I did one of the drop-offs at. Here is a picture of the finished yellow dress. I think it looks super cute. Um, I got feedback from her a couple of days ago. She said it fit perfect and she loved it. So it makes me happy. Um, the Griffin tunic also turned out really well. He was super happy with it. Uh, I haven't checked in with him. He was gonna wear it out on the fight field. I don't know how it went. I'll ask him when I see him next. Um, oh, the hat. I never showed you guys the finished hat. So I ended up having the husband throw this in the laundry when he was doing stuff one day. It didn't really felt up at all, which is fine, 10% wool, right? Um, but it does look super cute and I'm excited to add this as an accessory in my historical wardrobe for the winter because right now it is definitely way too hot to be wearing that. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys. Bye friends. Guess what today is? So here's the dress description. Look at how beautiful that is. I think I need to do more pink. The front of the dress is short. <laughs> 